What is going on everyone, Ken also known as Wiltshire here and today I'll be showing you guys a new feature built into the new version of Steam. It's called Big Picture. Now Big Picture is currently in beta and it does have a few minor bugs and glitches here and there but it's nothing really game breaking. Now Big Picture is a feature for people that want to bring the PC experience of gaming over to their TV and play it like it's a console. I love this idea and it's amazing. The interface looks amazing. It looks like Xbox, PS3, and Steam had a threesome baby, and this was the result. It looks amazing. I can't believe no one thought of this before. So, big picture is meant for people that want to flop on the couch with a wireless mouse and keyboard or a game controller and play their Steam games on their TV. That's awesome. So, let's go into the store tab first of all to start off. And this is where you will purchase games using this interface. So it, it shows all the renew releases and all the popular downloads or purchases that everyone's buying currently in the top page here. So if we move down to the other section, it shows us the genres, the top sellers, the specials, the coming soon, and new releases, which is pretty cool. It's kind of a Metro style theme or the Xbox theme of buying games. So let's go into the library tab and this is where all the games that you own are. So as you can see, I have all my games here, and the interface looks really good actually. I, I really like this interface. We can also go down to click view all games in kind of a tile layout. So if we go back, we can select the top recently played games that we've played. This is a really cool feature. I like this so I don't have to go through this and search through all the games that I have just to play one game. I can play the game that I've been playing so often and that's a really cool feature. So if we look at the thumbnail on the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail you'll notice that there's a controller there. Now it's split in half that means it has partial support for game controllers. So if we move over to something so like Meat Boy you'll see now the console is full which means it has full controller support. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't really know what it means by partial and full controller support. They both work controllers, work with controllers so that's cool. So we're gonna go into Limbo and as you can see I haven't downloaded Limbo yet I had to delete everything off my old Steam and update to this Steam so I can have this feature and I absolutely love this feature but uh, so let's get a look at the page here so let's go over to links and more you can see under links and more we have the game store page the game forums related groups support recommending this game to your friends and add to favorites now this is kinda cool so if I click the game store page it'll open up the game store page kinda like Steam but it's got a better layout I think so we can watch a video here of the game here it's playing we can also have a look at some screenshots of the game if you scroll over more if we go down we can purchase the game if we want if we click this it'll also come up with the DLC or anything else that's available for that game we can also go down again and we can have the description of the game if we go over to the right we can also get read a full description if we enter that but I'm not going to if we move over right once again we can see the details about the game such as the rating the controller support Steam Cloud we also have what platforms this game's available on so we have Mac PC and Steam play as well as its single player and its achievements and we have the genres and we can view these special not the special but the system requirements for this game as well as the supported language if we move over right again we can see the peep the uh, friends on my friends list that have been playing this game we can also go down to find community groups and whatnot which is really cool we can also see the reviews or the news on this game which is kind of cool we can see everyone's thoughts and opinions about this game which is really cool so if I go back whoops to the library once again go into limbo I'm gonna click install and you'll notice that now it's become a play button once you've downloaded and installed the game you can click the play button and this will play your game if we go into the download section you'll notice that I've been downloading Bastion and Limbo and this is what the downloading page looks like it'll show you your current download rate your peak rate and the total amount of data that you've downloaded and also gives you the time remaining of your download which is kinda cool I like this idea so if we back out and we go into the community section we can see all the friends that are online so I can start a chat with one of them so let's go into I don't know boredom let's say I can send him a message start a chat view his steam profile I can block all the communications if I want to be a dick or remove them but that's basically the friend section for this interface so if we go up we can also notice that there is a download tab beside my avatar there. I didn't notice the avatar there. So let's go in there. It's basically a shortcut to our downloads. Let's move over again. You can see that beside the time we have the settings. So you'll notice that the settings here, I can go to the account. I'm going to block my email address here and my account name. Actually, no, I'll leave my account name. You guys can add me if you want. We can view all the 
account history, you you can see that I'm participating in a Steam beta update. That's why I had to delete everything. You can see my email address, our Steam Guard status and whatnot. So if we go into our friends too, we can also change our name. It's basically all the settings for Steam. So if we go into display, this is the one that I want to show you guys. It runs in a borderless window which matches your resolution. So you need to set the target resolution to your monitor or you can select the target monitor right now I've selected the TV that I'm playing on and my TV is 1080p and you can see the display device aka my graphics card there and we can also tweak the invoice games I can have my microphone and we can see the in-game uh, we can see the in-game tabs such as the uh, Steam overlay which you can usually bring up with shift plus tab on the keyboard but if you hit the home button on the ps3 or the xbox it'll bring it up that way which is pretty cool we can also tweak the audio settings such as the noise that the interface makes when you move such as the ps3 where it goes tick so that's pretty cool that's the settings page if we go into the beta page it'll bring up a web browser that's built into steam which i think is amazing this this browser is amazing it's so fast it's pretty much on par with Chrome, if not faster than Chrome. It's a little clunky to use with the joystick, but it's probably a lot better with the mouse and keyboard. So, once we've opened up the beta section, you'll notice that it's going to give us a bit of information about uh, Big Picture. So, if we move over to About Big Picture, it can give you an in-depth description of Big Picture. It'll bring up another page. It'll show you the promo video for Steam's Big Picture, as well as a few descriptions so uh, TV meet PC grab your your laptop or your PC and connect it via HDMI and it acts like a, a console and you can it's basically all the information that I've stated already in this video so if you guys want to have a look at that go for it and I'm gonna back out of this so by hitting the R trigger on your Xbox 360 controller or the R2 on your PS3 you can go in between the web and the desktop sort of say so if we hit the right and then hit the left we can go back into the web so that's basically the steam big picture in a nutshell i really like this i hope you guys like this interface i think it's so cool to have the console experience sort of say on a pc it's really cool i like this idea and i hope they expand upon it and hopefully you guys like it too i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.